Well, so this is the first video. I thought might as well start somewhere. A uh, bit of background. It's been about a two or three year process to get to where I am, most of which time has been spent not doing anything whatsoever. You know, life gets in the way. And uh, life has sort of calmed down lately, and I've decided to kind of reopen the boxes that stored all the stuff for Rover and revive the project. So this is kind of where we are right now. So a bit about me, I guess. Uh, I'm self-employed, work from home, gives me a lot of freedom and uh, flexibility to do this sort of stuff, I guess. I've never recorded a public video before and uh, never done the YouTube thing before, but have been watching a lot of them lately and thought I'd give it a go. Um, I figure what's the worst that can happen? People would make uh, fun of me for, for this project, I guess, and, uh, but maybe I'd learn something from, from the people who are much smarter than me at this stuff. Uh, that's how I got this far. Uh, I don't have any sort of background in techie things whatsoever, but have been fascinated. Sorry, I keep glancing. I'm actually glancing back down at the rover. R-O-V-E-R. And, uh, yeah, I forget, well, forgot where I was at now, but um, my, my background is actually in uh, business stuff. And uh, my work is more business oriented with a technology slant to it, but nothing related to this stuff at all. Um, I do have a bit of background in uh, programming, but not this sort of programming. So it's all been a learning process. Um, so to say the least, if anybody has suggestions or help they can offer with any part of the project whatsoever, I am all ears. I suppose not literally, but most definitely figuratively. Uh, I guess I'll start by giving a bit of a tour around the robot rover. Uh, tell you the different pe parts. Um, I did have it working at one point um, a couple years back before, like I said, life got in the way. And uh, now that I've reopened the box literally yesterday, um, I've been trying to get it working again unsuccessfully. I have managed to get some lights to light up, <laughs> which is confidence inspiring. Um, but there's a long road ahead, which is part of the fun, I guess. Well, it's a good thing that I started to edit before I finished all these recordings for the first video. Uh, apologies, um, I now realize how common this mistake is, recording in uh, portrait rather than landscape. I'll be sure to remember that in the future. So getting back to the videos. I sort of decided to do these videos on a whim, uh, so it's not really prepared to demonstrate anything, um, but to start with, I suppose I wanted to get you give you a feel for the design and, um, and how things are laid out. So I'll be going over the different parts and um, how I went about it. Uh, there's a box underneath just kind of supporting it and these things, the, uh, the legs so to speak, are um, just dangling. Um, I, again, I'll be going over the individual parts um, in separate videos as kind of every piece has its own story. Um, but just overall, um, the design is very, very loosely based on the Mars rover kind of concepts. I forget which one, but the early one. And uh, this center section here is the gearbox. And it's a bit dark, um, but you have these three interlocking gears. And the idea is that as the outside arms um, are able to rotate independently. You see here that I'm basically turning one side 
and the other side rotates in the opposite direction via these central gears. And the general idea behind this is to allow the center platform um, where all the electronics and uh, other stuff will go in the future on several layers um, to keep that as stable as possible while allowing the arms and the individual wheels to manage any obstacles that they might come across via these crazy motors. Um, again, uh, we'll go over individual parts. But that's the basic design. Um, and uh, yeah, that's on top of which everything else is built. I guess uh, on to the next video. Uh, one more thing, uh, questions. Please ask questions about whatever it is that you want me to explain or elaborate upon uh, as that will help me uh, figure out which direction and, and what to prioritize in regards to these videos. So yeah, bring them on.